Take it easy, Ark. Come. So today I got Tecla and her daughter Luna. These are amazing females, these two. This is a premium pair of dogs, I'll tell you. No matter what kind of dog you like, you'll be able to see the quality in these two pretty easy. These are probably the best elk hound females in North America right now. These two. Come over here, girls. Right, turn. There we go. There's my girls. There's my girls. Now Luna is just starting to cycle. And uh, Tecla is actually just starting to cycle as well. I had an opportunity potentially to have a litter out of the mother and daughter at the exact same time. It happens rarely for a breeder. But hey, Ark, you take it easy. It's a rare day when it happens, but uh, I was trying to let Tecla go this round, so I won't uh, have a litter. Ark, you settle down. Ark wants to be out with these females when they're in heat. So I won't have a litter out of Tecla this round, just Luna. Luna is going in with Pretty Boy Leaf. Now I sat with both of these dogs when they were born, both of these uh, females uh, uh, I raised here the whole time and uh, I ran with Tecla's mother, the grandmother to Luna for a her whole life and uh, she was an amazing big female. Hey Ark. Ark, you settle down there buddy. Ark thinks he's a stud dog. I just had all his brothers and sisters out over there, nine little jam tons. But uh, I thought well I'll do this video today. I got some other projects coming up. It's my dad's birthday today so I made a call to him this morning and he's happy. He's asking me how the pups are doing and stuff, so um, I thought, well, I wanted to get this video out because I'm having this litter of uh, Luna's coming up. She's going to go in with Leaf right away. She's been bunking out with him, actually. Now, Kalia's cycling, too. And uh, Luna is, is probably one of the bigger females I have right now. Kalia's still a little bigger, but uh, Luna's right up there at the top end of the chart. She's a little bigger than her mother. She's more like her grandmother. This is a world-class dog, Miss Luna. Now, when Luna was a little pup, I did a video and uh, talked about uh, how Luna, I could write a write a description on breed standard on Luna, and that's that's the perfect outcome right there. Well, this is too. Both these girls are perfect. They have no flaws. These two, they're amazing. These two. Luna's full instinct, full hunting dog. She's a fast moving, uh, big power female. Hey, Letta, Velma, settle down. I don't know if that's uh, Letta or was Velma. Letta, another daughter of Tecla, is over there. And uh, Mon, of course, is Luna's brother. He's going in with Kalia, most likely. I'm going to let uh, Luna's dad try first. If I can't get a hookup, so be it. Mon will go in. Kalia's a bit of a tough one to get bred, so I'm going to let Dakota have a go and see if he can make it work. She keeps moving on him, and uh, that's always a problem. Them females have moved right at the last minute, kind of. And so uh, we'll... Uh, and, and he doesn't work if I'm in the pen, of course. Mon, he don't care if I'm in the pen. He just gets on, gets going. So I can stop Kalia for Mon. I can do it for Jaeger, too. Neither one there is shy. But Dakota, he won't work if I'm in the pen. And so if she's not going to stand still for him, he might not be able to hook her. Ark, you, you need to stop now, buddy. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now these two are full hunting dogs, they're extremely high-end dogs, these two. They're very, very skilled in the bush. I've hiked with them off-leash their whole life. Um, they're 
they have some leash skills, but these are off-leash uh, extraordinary dogs, these two. And uh, these two are loyal, like they're, they're, they stay with you the whole life. And uh, they, I could just fall asleep in the bush, they'd be sitting there in the morning. They're exceptional dogs, these two. Now, Luna and Mon, of course, Tecla had that litter on the night of the supermoon a couple years ago. Luna's just over two by a couple of days. So a week, I think, over two years. And uh, they come out in a hurry. They were born in about three and a half hours. And uh, very nice to have a litter on the supermoon. Usually it's about 13. There was 10 in that litter. Now, here's the interesting thing. Luna's dad's had, oh, what is it? What is it? Um, Luna's dad's had at least two 10 litter, 10 uh, pup litters. And uh, Tecla, of course, her first litter was 10. So the pro prolific uh, genetic capability of Luna is very good. Leaf's had at least nine. So we know he's good for a nine litter. So ideally, this first litter, if they get the hookups that I think they could get, it could be a pretty big litter. And she's in magnificent shape. So could be a pretty big litter. Now I could have maybe bred Tecla so they could have a litter together, but we'll let Tecla go this round and she can just relax. She's in magnificent shape, it wouldn't bother her a bit, but we'll, we'll let her go. I had planned to not breed her this round. Luna, come by me. Luna. Luna, come by me. I'm doing a video. Come on, girl. Or take a break. Lots of excitement around today. We had company already this morning. Had the little pups out. Neighbor's dog, he ain't barking all day. I don't know what's bugging him. So that's driving our calf crazy. Plus all the females in heat. Um, Velma's in heat too, so not breeding Velma. She's just young. Hey, Luna, come here. Hustle. Right up here. That's my girl. That's my girl. There's my girls. Oh, 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 oh. you guys are beautiful. Oh, this is a good pair of dogs. So matching this genetic up with Pretty Boy Leaf. Wow. That's going to be amazing. Amazing. Because Pretty Boy Leaf, he's a good dog boy, I tell you. He, he's exceptional. He's a really good male. He's about as good a male as we could find. And uh, Luna's a little bit better dog, but that's neither here nor there. It's such a minute little thing. Um, there's no males in North America as good as Luna, of course, and none as good as Tech. So finding a superior dog to these two isn't happening in North America. But uh, getting very, very close with Pretty Boy Leaf, I'll tell you. Um, there's some good males in North America, but not in the league of these two. Uh, this is the, the upper end of the world, these two. Um, these dogs here have uh, Norwegian Kennel Club champions. <laughs> they got two Nordic hunting champions. They got every back. Uh, they got champions going back over a hundred years. Uh, they, these are exceptional dogs. These guys have uh, Ravenstone champions. They have uh, Swedish champions. Uh, they got there. This is just loaded, loaded, loaded with uh, all the very best dogs. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful dogs. These two. And the pups coming out of these boy, we really first rate dogs. Yeah. I'm so excited about that. Let's turn around, girls. Let's turn around. Come this way. There's my girls. There's my girls. What? What? So you can see that uh, Luna's about an inch taller. And she's a uh, little heavier. She's actually bigger than Leaf. She's taller than Leaf, longer than Leaf, and heavier. Um, so good thing she likes him. Because uh, if she didn't like him, if she was like Kalia, I'd have to help. I'd have to hang on to her. But she likes Leaf, so it's good. <laughs> and you're such a good nature. She is such good nature. Very, very good dog. Yeah, very good dog. 
All right, girls, that's pretty cool video. That's pretty cool video. Good. Oh, you're a good girl. My goodness, you guys are good. Oh, my goodness. Let's go see how that turned out, girls. Come on. Let's go see how that turned out. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go.